Shalom. <coughs> My name is Yeshua Yaakov, and this is being made from uh, Jerusalem. Everybody on board, Barak says, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> that means God bless. Uh, the train for the White House. Uh, everybody on board for American Americans, the uh, 2009 President Barack Obama will deliver in the framework of humanomics the transformation of the bias of Wall Street to Main Street, the pie that is uh, uh, over doubled when we got from about seven or eight trillion to fourteen trillion. It doubled for capital owners, it halved for workers, the share of the gross domestic pie. Uh, how do we get from fourteen trillion barrack to everybody on board? The question on the train is how do we get from uh, Pennsylvania, from Main Street America to the future of America, how do we get from 14 trillion to 45 to 50 trillion? And how do we double and triple the share that goes to the workers and uh, in Main Street America and have the, uh, the next uh, uh, 20 or 30 trillion in gross domestic product to capital owners? Uh, enough uh, of allowing uh, democracy was not a license to steal. From uh, from America, and that's what's gung -gung been going on, and that's what's going to end. Now, having said that, how do we get there? The new economic paradigm. I'm its author, and humanomics is the framework in which it's developed and implemented. Uh, President Obama will get mandated in law uh, uh, the ability to develop a national platform uh, based upon the model and development and operation of a world-class global technologic infrastructure based on the new economic paradigm, the integration of labor. Uh, it will create tens of, th tens of millions of sustainable jobs. It will be creating tens of thousands of sustainable domestic content jobs. By the end of the first year of the project, it will require uh, four to five trillion of investment amortized over 20 years. It will retool, retrain, and re-educate the entire U.S. workforce. Everybody on board. The train is leaving for the White House. And we need your votes in Pennsylvania. Hakol kolam everyone. That means everybody's vote. I can't speak in Hebrew. <laughs> I'm an American citizen. I live in Jerusalem for 20 years. I have to remember to speak English. Uh, I used to be Michael O'Donnell. I'm Yeshua Yaakov. Okay, as the author of the New Economic Paradigm, I endorse uh, Senator Obama for president. This new global technologic infrastructure based upon the New Economic Paradigm model will, as I said, create tens of millions of sustainable jobs. It will triple the gross domestic product. It will eliminate the trade deficit. It will triple the purchasing power of the dollar. It will pay index salaries from year four and five on double the present rate. It'll triple it by years 11 to 12. Uh, we have a win-win situation. The problem is simple. The pie, the distribution of the pie has been, uh, look, sharp elbows, a lot of uh, lobbyists. Uh, Wall Street, uh, you know, I and its bias over Main Street, has taken advantage of the system of democracy and abused it in the extreme. Uh, the share of the pie at 40, at uh, at uh, from 14 to 28 to 42 to 45 to 50 trillion, which is where we're going to get with the global, the global technological infrastructure, is going to see the present uh, participation in the share or percentage share of the pie have. Uh, reduced by at least half or more on the capital owner's side and it's going to be quadrupled on the worker's side and they're going to be paid twice and three times as much and then then it's a win-win situation this is the basic fundamental inequity and how are we going to do that we're not going to socialize we're not going to use communist prescriptions or broom closet socialist prescriptions we're going to use the basic tenets of democracy look i'm an american i'm a citizen of america I'm not a dual citizen, even though I live in Jerusalem. I own hundreds of billions of dollars of patentable intellectual property that without which this technologic infrastructure for America cannot be built. I will provide it in trust to the American people. They will finance it. The capital markets will finance it. And it will be owned by them. And they will absolutely have the authority and power to share ever greater, 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 greater participation. And this is the wealth of nations. This is the rule by which <coughs> democracy is delivered. And that's it, folks. 
that's my prerogative also, and that's the workers' prerogative. And they're going to have that prerogative restored to them. And with President Obama, Obama will get execution of this. And we'll get just and equal dis distribution of the share of the pie, not the present uh, uh, ripoff that we've got uh, where the, uh, the lobbyists are taking uh, an ever, ever increasing share of the national wealth. And uh, look, I'll give you but one example. Uh, there is uh, the price of gas is going up. Why? Because the hedge funds are hedging and buying oil. Uh, he's a hedge against inflation. Okay, the result is the dollar is sinking through the floor and the price of oil is going through the roof. Even though there's increasing demand, it's being pushed far, far. The envelope is being pushed far more uh, quickly. And here is the same guys who packaged and peddled to America and the world the, uh, the subprime market uh, capital instruments that were garbage. And they uh, r shifted hundreds of billions of dollars into worthless assets. And here's a guy there who's a part of this game, and he shorts it, and he says, ah, this is a, a ripoff. And he makes $3.7 billion last year as a, as a, as a, as a hedge fund. Uh, operators, the head of a hedge fund. Now, come on, something's wrong, folks. The government is out to lunch. There's no, there's no supervision. There's nothing. There's nobody running this show. This is just, this is the, this is wonderful. This is democracy. We get, and they don't. And this is the, this is the, isn't it? It isn't a discrepancy. It isn't a, a preference of, of Wall Street over Main Street. It's a ripoff, and it's going to stop. That's it. Hello, I'm Yoshua Yako from Jerusalem. Uh, look. I had the opportunity to be a multi-billionaire tens of times over. And Warren can tell you all about that, and others can tell you. Bill can tell you all about that. And I lived in poverty and served the God of the cosmos for the last 22 years. And Baruch Hashem, that means God bless. He blessed me with a lot of uh, patentable technology, and now it's going into the building of a world-class global technologic infrastructure in America. This is the game plan. This is, this is President Obama's uh, uh, plan and economic program, macro program, to, uh, to end the, uh, the extreme uh, inequity in the distribution of the wealth in America and to provide the engine of creation that gets us from 14 trillion to 45 trillion with a, a genuine just distribution of the share of that wealth. Uh, that's it, folks. I'm Yoshua Yaakov from Jerusalem. And I endorse this message, and I endorse Senator Obama for President of the United States. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned. Much more to come, folks. Vote for Obama. <laughs> He's a winner. <laughs> and get on that train right now. <laughs> it, it, next stop, the White House. <laughs> oh, sorry, we have to first pass through uh, Denver. Okay, so, so God bless you. Go to Denver, and uh, let's get, over, get, get through the coronation, uh, and let's get to day one. Uh, to the national platform policy for the new economic paradigm. Let's get a mandate in the law and let's get on with the building and development uh, of that global technology and the vesting of its ownership with the workers in America. AFL-CIO, I understand, endorses it. We'll wait before we talk more about that until we see something formal. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, if they don't, <laughs> they're asleep. <laughs> but they have been asleep. Uh, frankly, uh, they haven't done a very good job of representing America. But after all, uh, the percentage of the uh, labor force that's unionized in, in total is not that great. I don't know what it is, but so, so I think it's 10 or 15 percent of the total workforce. But anyway, uh, uh, they can do better and they should do better. Uh, no criticism, Mr. Sweeney. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm Yeshua Yaakov uh, 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 from Jerusalem, and we bless you, and we bless the people in uh, Pennsylvania. And don't forget to get on board that big blue train. Okay. Uh, Barak, let's hear the horn. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Shalom from Jerusalem. Thank you for listening. I'm Yeshua Yaakov.